We are to perform indicated operations. Here we are adding fractions, so we need to have the same denominators. I have denominators of 12, 8, and 24. Let's decide on a least common denominator, and it is 24. So now let's take a step and let's write each fraction as an equivalent fraction, but with a denominator of 24. So my first fraction is 11 over 12. And I ask myself, what do I multiply 12 by in order to have a product of 24? The answer is 2. So I multiply by 2 over 2. Now let's move on to the next fraction, which is 3 eighths. And we ask ourselves the same thing. What do I multiply 8 by in order to have a product of 24? I multiply 8 by 3. And if I multiply in the denominator by 3, I've got to use the same exact number in the numerator because that's the same as multiplying by 1. And then plus 5 over 24. That already is a denominator of 24, so we'll leave that alone. Now let's see what we have now. 11 times 2 is 22 over 12 times 2 is 24 plus 3 times 3 is 9 over 8 times 3, 24, plus 5 over 24. Look what we've accomplished. We now have the same denominator, so now we can actually add numerators. Let's see what we have. 22 plus 9, that's 31, and 31 plus 5 is 36 over 24. And then let's see if we can simplify this sum. Well, I know 36 and 24, there's a common factor of 12. I can write 36 as 12 times 3, and I can write 24 as 12 times 2. And those 12's divide out, so I have 3 over 2, if you'd like, we can write it as a mixed number. 2 divides into 3 one time with the remainder of 1, and I write it over the original denominator. So the sum is 3 halves or 1 and 1 half.